Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your bunny's rabbit hutch and what you will need for your bunny. So we'll go from this side of the hutch to that side of what I have in there and what you'll need. So first off, you can get your bunny salt licks, this thing right here. Um, I'll show you that up closer now. So these are the salt licks, they're just, um, I'm reaching through the wire to show you this, so it's a bit hard, but they have something connecting it to the wire. Okay, and then the next thing that we have is the feeder right there. So I'll show you that closer now too. It basically holds what they eat. So they're Timothy Hay pellets and Timothy Hay, um, which this holds. So ours does have a separator, but they we kind of ripped that off and we're taking it off so I just decided not to keep it on anymore but I'll take that out and show you what it looks like up closer okay so I just emptied it from all the uh, old hay that was in it but basically this pellet feeder um, it has this separate little thing which my bunny kind of chewed so they kind of chewed this part though can't really I don't know if you can see that right there and then but basically this, they do have a wire, which I'll show you in a minute, but the hay goes back here and then the pellets go up here. I'll go get the wire part to show you now. Okay, so this is the wire part. It normally goes on like this, kind of, or I just got that off. Let me show you again. Okay, I just figured out what I was doing wrong. It goes down these two slits here and then this closes off so you can open it and put the hay in and then close it and then and put the pellets in there but my bunnies would just like rip it off to get to the hay so I just figured I wouldn't put it on anymore but I might just try it one last time and we'll see how that works but my other bunny is really the one who chews it off her name's Lily this is October's cage I'm showing you now so you'll need a pellet feeder and this is also the hay feeder this is like two in one kind of but I can show you their food and the bedding all as well. But first, I'll just put this back in and then I'll show you the water. Okay, so for this water, we use the rent a coop water, which works really well. Um, you just open this and then refill it with water for them. And I'll take that off now so you can see the front of it. Okay, so this is the rent a coop bunny water. So it drinks it out like this, but you just tap this, the bunny will just tap this down and then water comes out. Um, I will go refill this after showing you this, but it has a cord also so you can plug it in and it's heated, but I just put this Ziploc bag and a rubber band around it to protect it from weather uh, at least a little bit. And so this one's just really nice. Uh, it does come with instructions in it that tells you how to get your bunny to use it because a lot of bunnies are just used to drinking out of a bowl but they can actually like poop and pee in it and it can get really gross so i just like using it this way because whenever i use a bowl for my bunnies when they're in a playpen playing they always like poop or it or knock it over and it's really not very nice or for me to clean up each time and it's i, do, I just like this one a lot better so when you're hanging it up it'll come with this little cage wire thing to hold it up and then this metal thing which I still have attached to this super easy it's just a little clip to put it on but I take the cord and I put it through this right here if that makes sense and then just aim it differently so that the part where they drink is sticking out here and then you just hook it on and put this around it I'm gonna go refill this and you do need to rinse uh your bunny's water out every once in a while in a while especially in winter because their water can freeze if you don't have a heated one like this one then that can happen very often um i'm gonna go wash this out and then i'll show you how to put it on okay so i just cleaned this out and refilled it so now i'll show you see there's two wires on the bottom of this so you can see and so you put it through the middle. See, this is where I can explain it. 
and put it in here so it's like this see and then you hook it up to however how you like it um don't want it to be too high and i didn't put that on it's not put on okay there. and then you take this and you clip it onto one side <laughs> and this part can get a little tricky um but if you're putting it on a wire that's going vertically then you want it higher and then if it's horizontally you want it lower then you come around this side and snap it on and it's pretty easy and that's very secure now so now we'll show you around the litter box area which right now there's no litter box because i'm going to show you how to get the litter box ready and everything like that so when you're getting your bunny's litter box ready you will need three things technically four things but we'll just say three for the litter box part so first off the litter box sorry that one's a little stained um second the pellets um so horse bedding pellets work great and then third the uh flakes so you need aspen bedding flakes and these work that's what i use um and yeah so first what you're gonna do is take the litter box you're gonna take the horse bedding pellets and you're just gonna fill it up about a half an inch thick probably just enough so that you don't see the bottom of the floor for this and i think you're gonna do one more handful one more extra large handful i'm just gonna layer it on top of it okay that's good so that part is done next we're going to take the flakes the aspen buddy flakes we're just going to put it on the bottom and just so you know for the the pellets they cannot be cedar pellets because they have oils that can harm your rabbit so don't be sure not to get cedar pellets um uh and then you're going to put this on top the flakes on top about uh an inch thick i'm guessing is about what i did and so then you're going to put it in their hutch which the fourth technically fourth thing for their litter box what you're going to need is puppy pee pads so you don't put this in the bottom of this you put it under the litter box and i'll go get them now and show you how i fold them uh to fit under these Okay, so for the puppy pee pads, I used two, but for ours, when you first get them, they just have the blue side on the outside, which is the non-absorbent side, and it's basically just a stick onto the surface. So, I fold them for October. His litter box is smaller because he is a smaller bunny, because he's a boy, and so about this size, I fold it basically the opposite way. So, I unfold this. And then I put the blue side, I flip it so the blue side is up, or the non-absorbent side. And then I fold these two corners in, and there's already folding marks, so it's super easy to fold. And for my other bunny, I just fold it in half here, but her litter box is a lot bigger. But for him, I fold it in half this way. Um, and then I fold it in half this way. And so I do that twice for each puppy pee pad, and I'll show you that again. So you unfold it, you put the blue side up, the non-absorbent side, fold these two corners in, fold that in half, and then you fold this in half. And then you're going to put it, so when I put it in the cage, I put it like this, kinda, and then like this, then I put that on top, and I tuck in all the corners, but I'll show you while I'm doing that in his cage. Okay, so like I said, I put one of these in this way, and then I put the other one in this way, and then I take the litter box and put it in like this, and you can see how the puppy pee pad is sticking out a bit right there. So, 
I tuck those corners in because if you do leave this out, your bunny will almost, probably 99%, they will tear at that and like, it'll be super annoying. So you just want to tuck those in, make sure they never find out about it. <laughs> but they probably will eventually, like just last time I cleaned this uh, hutch out, my bunny, he actually turned the litter box the complete other way and got to it, so. Yeah, but thankfully they don't rip up it too much. They just find it and kind of toss it around how they want it. And then they kind of just leave it then. But, yeah, that's what you'll need for that part. And then I'll show you the foods that you need for your bunny um, and what they eat. And I'll show you while I'm putting that in the pellet slash hay feeder as well. Okay, so here's what you'll need for the pellet feeder. Um, So I have... This box, I just normally fill it with hay because we got a huge thing of hay. Um, and then, so I wanted to show you the difference of these two pellet feeders. So, first of all, here's our pros and cons about this one. So, this one, a uh, pro would be that the bunnies can't chew through this because it is metal. And uh, probably that it has a large supply of pellets and you won't need to refill it often. But the cons about it are that my bunnies always rip this off of the wall and I have seen people do something where they actually cut out a piece of the wire in their bunny's cage. They stick this through the outside so that just the feeder is through, which might work for you. I don't know, probably have to do more research on that I mean that's a con about it is that they can chew it this is they can't even chew it but I'm gonna try to use this one more it's just this one they have clips on it that go onto it so they can't rip that off easily at all um, this one it's more like it just hooks on barely and then they can rip it off pretty easily um, so that's the pros and cons of those two kinds now I'll show you what to put inside so I'm gonna open this little area there and then I'm gonna fill it with hay. This will get a bit messy. I'll clean this up after but you can just stuff it with hay. Um, you don't want to get too dusty of hay because there's a lot of dust in this um, or else I could make them like sneeze and I don't know, get stuck stuck in their nose. That will not be, they will not like that. Um, but I think it just got some <laughs> dust in it. Anyway, then you can close this and then I'm just gonna kinda shake out all the de dust above this box. And then I will take my pellets, which this is the brand we use. Um, let me just show you that better. So this is the brand we use, uh, New Trena, Nature Wise. Um, and so we think it works really well. Uh, they love this kind, especially, because they used to have other pellets that they used to do in there. They used to have other pellets that they did not like as much, but I added those old pellets, because when you're switching them to a new diet, when you first get your bunny, the breeder should have given you, or wherever you got them from, should have given you the pellets, a sample of the pellets that you, um, that they use. And then when you're first getting them, you want to mix them with the new pellets or keep using the one that they have. You mix them with the new pellets so you can see how some of these are bigger, like right there. Let me try to get the camera to focus. Right there, and then others are smaller, like over there. And so, um, I just dumped some of the old pellets into this and they just love this new pellet brand though. It's like, but, so each day you give your bunny a fourth cup, about a fourth cup of the pellets. And this brand, my bunnies love it so much that right when I put it in, they eat it all. So I have to limit how much they get, but I do about a fourth cup. I do like a little more than this. So you can just put it in the front section here and then you can get a little more for them, but not too much more though. And so, I just add that in there and then you can put this in there and look how it just, I don't know, I just love how clean it looks and the hay's not spilling. I think I'm gonna try to train them not to 
rip this metal piece off because they love doing that because it's really nice just to not have that there or to have it there but it's not nice when they rip it off so hopefully it's just that they have to pull and they're like no I, <laughs> I don't want this metal piece here so anyway that's how you set up the pellets and that's what they eat they eat uh timothy hay pellets and the hay is timothy hay when they are younger they can have uh another kind of hey i forget what it's called right now but once they're older they can they switch to timothy hay but when they're younger they can also have timothy hay as well and if you are if you happen to be allergic to their hay you can feed them orchard grass which is uh it's like less people are allergic to it and so i would recommend doing that if you're allergic but they just love their food <laughs> so i'm gonna go hang this up in there now and i think that i've oh i've almost covered everything the next thing i'm we're gonna talk about are the bunny toys so we're gonna talk about rabbit toys so it is very important to get your bunny rabbit toys because it helps them to stop chewing on the cage, which nobody loves. And it just helps their teeth, because their teeth are always growing. They never stop growing, and so they need something to chew on to keep them from overgrowing, which you might have seen overgrown bunny teeth before. It looks horrible. You definitely don't want that to happen to your bunny. Um, so the toys that I have for my bunnies, these are just ones they can toss around. They're stackable cups. I have more than two, but they're just really nice. And these are made out of stuff they can chew. I forget what it is again. But um, yeah, so you're just gonna you just toss them around randomly like I just did. And then they also really like toys they can chew on more. Like those are kind of just to toss around and play with. But this one is a little old, so. Um, but it's just some some kind of edible bunny chewing toy stick for them wrapped around in some kind of orange stuff. <laughs> I forget what it is again. But they also like these toy balls. So let me get their other one. Um, these, they do, they have ripped up these before, especially my bunny Lily, which is right upstairs from October. But, so she's already kind of been chewing this one. So they do chew these, but they also love tossing them around and playing with them. And then this is one that's less chewing. There's a bunch of different kinds they have. So I like putting those in there too. And I'm gonna put the other one in my buddy Lily's cage. And then there's also these, I actually just got these today. They're uh, chewing sticks for them. So they can chew on these and they can play with them. And then they're, they have a bunch of different ones. I think this is a bamboo. Um, this is like kind of like the Timothy hay pellet, hey pellets, but a really long stick of it. So I do have a few of these already. So I give it to them every once in a while and they love it. And so it just really helps them with their chewing habits. And so I just kind of, I <laughs> I'll show you the toy I made for my other bunny. Lily, um, so I just took a toilet paper roll, I cut some slits on both sides, and I stuck the stick through, and then I took one of the stackable cups and put it in. She can just play with that. I haven't put her in her cage yet, because I just cleaned her cage out, so I'm not sure how much she'll like it, but hopefully she loves it a lot. And I can show you how to make that now. Okay, so you take a toilet paper roll, an empty toilet paper roll, and then you take scissors i just found these garden thing clippers so i just thought i'd use them and you cut kind of small holes in it on both sides like that a little slit you fold it a little and then do it straight across try to make it as straight as possible from the other slit and then you take the stick put it through both and then you have something like this Okay, and then you take a stackable cup. Let me see if it fits in this first. Okay, it barely fits in this one. I think I'm going to do a different one, though. Uh, a bit of a bigger size. So you can put it in this, and then they can just play with that. I hope my bunnies like it. We'll see how they end up liking that. 
And so I'm gonna add some a few more toys in there with them too. So a bamboo stick, just gonna toss that on the floor there for them. And then one of these Timothy chewing sticks. So these are really good to keep them from chewing on the cages. I'm just gonna add some of these too. My other bunny's cage as well. And um, yeah, I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, I'll go show you uh, another thing I have for my bunnies as well. Um, it's a little, it's almost like, it's a Timothy Hay hut, I call it. Um, I'll go show you that now. So my bunny Lily is playing it, it right now, uh, chewing it up. So let me show you that a little better. So the ones I came, came with too, she's in here right now, so she's like, hi. But they're just little, when they come, they're, uh, She's in here right now, so I can't do it, but they're kind of folded up. But they just love this little place to hide. Um, and so, yeah, that's it's like little Timothy Hay thing, and they can just hide in it. Depending on your rabbit size, I have Hall and Lops. Um, <laughs> let me try to show her face. Uh, so, they're a little bigger, but I'm gonna be breeding rabbits soon, so this will be perfect size for the little baby kits going through it, but my putties can barely fit through it too. So right now, we just gave my bunny a little treat of this, but she, you can tell she's a haul and lop. She's more of a medium sized bunny, uh, so she can kind of fit through this, but depending on the size of your rabbit, they're a really small sized rabbit. They, as adults, they could probably fit through this, but it's mainly just for babies, at least for haul and lops, I'd say. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. We also have this toy ball for her. It's made of plastic, but they never chew it, so. And you can put treats inside and they can just jingle it around, make a little bell play, and they love playing with it. And it's so cute to come to them and then you hear them pushing that ball around with the little bell noise, it's so cute. And so this is my other bunny, October. This is his, uh, the one we got was a pack of two, so he has one too. He's also having a little treat as well. Thought I'd just show you them since I was out here. He's like, hi. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye. Yes, thank you for watching. Bye.